Hello all, it has been a minute. Welcome to the first day, question mark-ish, of a very different kind of lifestyle for myself. Um, I have a lot to update you on, um, and I'm just gonna kinda do it here and there because I, I want to, to live this life and I'm kinda gonna update you along the way. Um, it is August, it's a date. It's a date on the calendar, I promise. Um, it's August, wow, I'm struggling. August 26th, I'm struggling already. Okay, it's August 26th, um, I have gotten back from my trip to Montreal. If you follow me on Instagram, then you may have seen the plethora of Instagram stories <laughs> that I posted when I was on that trip with Tyler. Uh, and this is also the first week of my fall semester of graduate school. It's my last semester of the master's program. I only have two more classes and a comp exam to take in December before my master's degree posts. So I also have some updates um, on what I'm gonna be doing after the master's program, but I'll update you a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty much home all day today. Um, which is gonna be kind of my life for the next six months or so and I have a lot of plans for myself and I've decided to take you all along the way. Right now, I am dressed for a run. I'm gonna go for a run because one of the things that's coming up in early November is my next half marathon. So I need to kind of start training again for that. I did the Balboa Park eight miler at the beginning of this month and I did not train for it. I didn't have time to train for it. My life was just so busy, obviously, which is why I have not posted in, what, seven months? Seven, eight months, something like that. Um, yeah, life's just been, there's been no time. I've picked up my camera to film a lot. Um, I've even filmed complete videos, but I just never had time to edit. So by the time I thought, oh, maybe I should edit that, I'm like, I don't really care. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I'm all up to you a little bit later. I'm gonna go for my run um, and just kind of get the day started. Just got back from my run that kind of turned more into a run walk because it's really hot outside. <laughs> it's uh, 80 degrees and it's 10 a.m. So yeah, there was some shade thankfully. That's why I definitely wanted to run in the morning while the buildings could cover me from the sun a little bit but yeah it was uh it was really hot um and also you know I'm not beating myself up about not running the whole way either I haven't been running and you know you lose it so fast <laughs> you really do um if any of you have trained for half marathons before in in the beginning you think how can I ever get to 13 miles um and you just, but you stick to it and eventually you're like, oh, I'm running six miles and it's not a big deal. Oh, I can run seven miles and it's not a big deal. So, because I, I know I've been to that place before and at this point I've now run three half marathons. Um, I know I can do it, so I'm not, I'm not freaking out. It's literally my first day back running after a month. And that month ago was a, an eight mile run that I didn't train for, so. Here we go, it's all good, it's all good. Um, now, I was thinking of going to the store because I am out of ice. <laughs> Speaking of it being really hot, yeah, it's 80.4 degrees in my apartment right now. Um, but yeah, I am completely out of ice, I need ice. Ooh, I had put these towels in the freezer a long time ago. And I haven't actually tried to see if it would help cool me down at all. Because to the touch, they actually don't feel very cold. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, they're cold on the inside. If I can open them up. Jeez. Yeah, this might not have been a good idea. <laughs> I can't even get to the cold part. Open up this 
this way? Ooh, maybe. I think we're getting somewhere. Well, okay. I've somewhat gotten, ooh, to a cold bit. <laughs> I was trying to go for what they do at Cycle Bar with the, the frozen towels, but maybe they just don't, they're not in that long. Ooh, oh, there we go. All right, I got to the, I got to the inside. That feels kind of good. All right, let me do this for a while, cool off, and then uh, we'll go to the grocery store for ice and coffee creamer. I'd put it back in the freezer, draped over something, and it's just all in the shape of a little hat now, but it feels good. I think this is gonna be my new way to get through August and September. Hopefully by October it will have cooled down a little bit. It is now up to 81.1 degrees in my apartment. And it's only 10.30. <laughs> okay, so we have acquired the ice. Um, I am very much out of the habit of vlogging, clearly, because I did not vlog at all in the grocery store. I just went to Ralph's, but ice, voila. Um, let's see, I also went and just got creamer. So one of the things that I kind of want to do videos on, maybe, is budget hacks or money-saving hacks or things like that. I'm actually really bad at that stuff, so, well, I'm good at budgeting, but I'm not good at, like, finding the right deal or whatever, so, but I was at the store, obviously, and I found my my favorite, my favorite fall creamer. And I know it's still August, but it's almost September. They were on sale for if you buy five, you get a dollar off. So I got five of these and you know what? I know myself and I know I'm actually going to consume it all because uh, I love my pumpkin spice creamer. Anyway, oy, oy, oy. putting all that in there. Okay, so what have we got going on now? Now, now I am hungry. I need to eat something and I need to do my dishes. Uh, I feel like I have to get my shit together, y'all. I my, my shit feels very much apart right now. Um, not terrible, I mean I did if I hadn't unpacked as soon as I got back from Montreal, I think I would feel even worse. But I did spend the time to get totally unpacked. And it's not like the place is a total mess. It's just, it's really easy for me to feel overwhelmed with my dishes. You've seen my sink. If you haven't seen my sink, watch any of my clean with me's. My sink is very small. My kitchen space is very small. And so, I mean, like three meals or even two meals um, cooked in that kitchen just makes it look really really messy so I need to figure that out um, one of the other updates is that originally Tyler and I were going to be moving in together next month but due to financial reasons and other reasons we're still very much together but due to certain reasons we are not moving in together um, this year so I extended my lease for six months and hopefully by then I will be working as a therapist or about to work as a therapist because there's this weird timeline with um, once your master's degree posts and you then apply for your associates number through the BBS and there's this weird waiting period while they're processing your application and getting you your your associates number so on top of that, then there's the update with my PsyD program, which I'll probably get into later. But right now, I think I need to I need to wash my dishes and I need to eat something. So I'm going to do that now.
So I have eaten my late breakfast. I took some time to watch a YouTube video and now I'm getting my head on straight. I have a little mini project to work on for my job. So right now for work, I really just have a work study position through my school and it's just a few hours a week honestly it's really flexible and low stress low key can do it all remotely um not not enough not even close enough to live off of so i'm actually thinking about applying to work as one of the little um like the service people at cycle bar just because it's right within walking distance of my apartment can give me a little extra money I'm basically living off of student loans at this point so it's gonna get a little weird next semester because I am <laughs> I just found out uh, this week the week school starts that I am NOT able to be enrolled in the master's program and the doctorate program at the same time by the way, this year I applied to the doctorate program of my school and I got accepted. So I am going to be starting my doctorate program. Originally it was going to be this semester as I was finishing the master's program, but because of that weird logistical, it's a weird thing with fin the financial aid office. They just couldn't make it work. Um, and then because of the order of classes and when they're offered, it doesn't work to start in the spring so I talked to my student advisor and because I don't want to wait a whole year to start the doctor program um, we figured out a way that I can start in the summer of next year so if I think about it it really is only one semester off rather than two or like almost a year so um, but what that means is this semester I only have two classes after this whole year of taking more than two classes, uh, being at my practicum site, which that's now over, by the way, that ended at the end of July, which took up, I mean, I think the majority of my time and my energy and all the plays that I was doing, I'm looking at a lot of free time this fall. And that's why I pulled out my camera because I thought, what a weird opportunity that I have right now to I don't even know I have so much time I have so much time this is kind of the dream right like sure it's not ideal that I am living off of student loans that's not great but what a unique time in my life I'm still living alone so I get to kind of milk all the benefits of living alone I have time in spades um, and I have little projects I've been wanting to work on. You know those little projects that you think, if only I had time, if only I had time, I would do that thing. Um, so I have several of those, actually. One of them is picking up my camera again and posting on YouTube again. So here we are. We'll see if this actually gets edited and posted. And uh, about five months ago or so, I had an idea for a book. And that was frustrating because I kept thinking, wow, this is a really good idea. This book is never going to get written because I have no time. And now I have time. So that's something that I might document a little bit on here. Uh, I already kind of put in a, I created a spreadsheet to keep track of my writing progress. I put in my calendar, the days and times I'm going to be writing. So I'm getting serious about this. So that's one project. YouTube's another project. What else? Um, incorporating different types of exercise, getting, doing better at training for my next half marathon, just lots of things like that. All the while, yes, I, I do still need to be focusing on the two classes that I have, but it seems really low key, actually. <laughs> I don't know. These classes seem actually pretty easy, so 
I'm just kind of coasting. I just love to <laughs> I just, it's exciting, it's exciting. I did um, then get an email after talking to my advisor about this weird loophole where, which is actually something I had thought of a few days ago when I first heard about all this, is just transferring fully over to the PsyD program and not doing the master's and the PsyD program. Because technically the master's program is part of one of their PsyD programs. Uh, I had come up with this idea. Someone was like, eh, the pricing might be a little bit different. So I sort of had shot that idea down on my own. And then my advisor comes back after our meeting with this proposed solution. But by then I had gone through this whole journey of like, okay, I'm angry, I'm frustrated, I'm a little sad, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then my brain starts to do like a positive reframe. Well, what, you know, what are the benefits of not being able to start this ID program and all of this stuff. So now it's like the benefits of, of not starting this ID program are so much that I'm not going to take advantage of, of this weird loophole because I really think the universe right now is telling me chill out <laughs> you have been working so hard and it's not like you're gonna just sit down and do nothing you're not taking a break at the end of this semester you're gonna have your master's degree which sure when i compare it to a doctorate doesn't feel like a big deal but i need to remind myself a master's degree is a it's a big deal a master's degree can actually get me a job as a therapist so this is not postponing my career in any way it's just postponing by one semester a little bit of my um, extended education so anyway i just sent off an email to my advisor saying you know what thank you so much for informing me of this opportunity but i really do think i'm going to go with the plan that we had created in our meeting so Anyway, that's that, that's this, the, this, that, that's that update. Um, but I do need to work on these tasks, this project for my work study position, get this out of the way so that's off my brain. And then I also need to finish uploading my syllabi into Trello to kind of get organized academically for the classes I'm actually taking this semester. I did a video on this. July of 2021 or maybe it was around actually around this time last year I think I must have posted it how to prepare for a new semester of graduate school so I showed how I do that in Trello I love Trello for keeping track of all of my school readings and my school assignments and making sure I'm getting everything done not just on time but in a lot of ways early <laughs> I'm usually early because of Trello so I have to do that. I have a whole laundry list of things that I need to do. And all the while, just trying to stay cool because it is now officially 82.2 degrees in my apartment. I'm sweating. I made the decision to actually close my door because it just, I don't know if it was making, I don't think it was cooling me down. I think it was making me warmer, but I don't know. I might rethink that and open it, but Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna do that little that little project. I've budgeted two hours for it. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. But yeah, and then and then school. Uh my brain is melting out of my ears. I started working on that project for my work study position and what I thought would be, you know, a two hour project is turning into more of like a five hour project, which may not sound like a lot, but it's literally a spreadsheet of over 1400 items and comparing each item against three other spreadsheets. So it's, it's very, I like my brain is focusing and it's, you know, control find, control find, but oh, that item might not be spelled ex or titled exactly like the item that I'm comparing it against. So, <sighs> so I just did two, almost two and a half hours straight of it. So I need to stop for right now, um, possibly, probably for the day. Cause I need to, I need to get focused on school stuff. Um, which is one thing that's really nice about having a work study position is honestly, 
the priority is school over anything else and my supervisor understands that so that's really cool and there were oh you can see i am i'm warm you can tell how warm i am um what are we up to in temperature do do you want to guess oh <laughs> i'm dying so what was it before 82.2 it is now 83.8 degrees in my apartment. <laughs> I have had my box fan blowing on me until I picked up my camera because it is really loud. So I didn't want that to annoy you or me when I'm editing this because I will edit this. This will be a video. It might be the most boring video I've ever posted because it's literally just been me in my apartment and me not filming myself going anywhere or doing anything. But I have gone two places okay um what am i gonna do i i need to do something to cool off immediately because i can't just go straight into another focused computery thing i don't feel super hungry while i was doing that project i had a cliff bar just because i needed sugar i wasn't even hungry it was more like to entertain me i don't know <sighs> um okay yeah, I need to cool down. I need to cool down, maybe have some, I don't look good. It's probably because I'm wearing this shirt that makes me very washed out, but whatever. I don't care. Do you care? I don't think so. Okay, so yeah, cooling down, cooling down, and then working on Trello and organizing Trello with all of my school tasks. If you want to sit, do you want to see that? Yeah, why not? I'll record my screen. Sure, let's do that. But let me cool off first. to end this video here um, I don't really know what this video is is going to be I think I won't really know until I start editing it but what I do know is that it's a way to just sort of break the seal get back into talking to a camera after a very long time it's been a while um, and also just sort of to document what my life is going to be for the next six months. It just feels like a really unique time. So yeah, anything that I've said in this video um, about things that I've been wanting to do, such as writing a book that I've had an idea for. Um, what else have I, I don't even know what I've talked about. I feel like it's been two days in one. I've been trying to get so much done. Um, oh yeah, like budgeting or, or trying to be more mindful about 
I don't know, money saving and all of that if you want a video on that. I know I shared a little bit about how I organize my academic tasks. So if you want a more in-depth video on that, let me know. Um, I have a lot more time on my hands, so I would love to fill it with things that are productive, things that make me feel like I'm moving towards something, and YouTube might do that. YouTube might do that. Um, but yeah, another thing I just did <laughs> was um, I just got a new client deal for three pole dance classes. <laughs> Any of you who are OG, I'm talking OG subscribers to this channel might remember when I lived in Maryland, in some of my videos in the background, you see my pole. So when I lived in Maryland, I was taking pole dance classes until my studio caught fire. <laughs> well, sort of. It's a, it's a short story, but I won't say it right now. Essentially burned up and, you know, so I couldn't go there anymore. So I didn't, I wasn't pole dancing anymore, but I've missed it for so long. And it was actually on my list, uh, on my 30 before 30 list to get to advanced level of pole, which just, it just never happened because other things took priority. So I don't know, I want a new way of moving my body. I want to do, just want to do something different. And I like pole because it's also creative. It's like sort of exercise and also expression. Um, it just looks really cool and it's sexy and I miss it. So. We'll see what happens. I just put myself on a wait list for a beginner class because yes, your girl is going back to a beginner class. I don't want to hurt myself. So yeah. So that's really exciting. I don't think I'd be able to take my camera in there or anything. And I know that my pole does not fit in this apartment. I think I've tried. It's either with the extension it's too tall, but without the extension it's too short. So I would have needed to buy a whole new extension. And this place is just too small for it. So. That's okay. Well, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, but anyway, that's that. Let's see if I actually get this video edited and posted in the next couple of days. That'd be cool. Um, how are you? Let me know how you're doing down in the comments. Um, I'm, I will have talked a lot about how I am. Have I actually talked about how I am? I don't think so, but I did shower. I feel very fresh. I realize I'm wearing the same thing I was wearing earlier, but it's it's fine. I was only wearing it for a little bit. Anyway, I took a shower. That felt really good. I shaved. I needed to shave. I needed a nice good shave. I don't think I'd shaved since I was in Montreal. So <laughs> I shaved and I moisturized and I put a hair mask in my hair, obviously, because where else would you put a hair mask? I have my night cream on. I'm all ready. I think I might make myself a Moscow Mule. And I am going to spend the evening watching a movie. A French movie, actually. Oh, I, the reason I was on this screen was because of the light. But the movie is on Netflix. It's called Lady J. Hold on, it's going to get dark for a second. Yes, Lady J on Netflix. I'm going to watch it in French. It's a French movie that I'll watch in French because being in Montreal and speaking French in Montreal, but not as well as I thought I was going to speak French in Montreal, really lit a fire under me to intensify my French practice. So, which means watching more things in French, or just like listening, more for listening comprehension. Um, and then definitely speaking, because I'm, if I see it, I can, I can read it. I actually bought some French books that I want to read too, so. There's a lot, I'm, <laughs> I hear myself saying all the things I want to be doing and it's so much and I know I have a lot of time on my hands but I don't know if I have that much time on my hands. Okay, I've talked enough. Thank you for watching. If you got to this, if you got to the end of this video, I'm going to do the thing that Eric the Electric does 
if you've gotten to this point in the video, I love him. He lives in San Diego. I want to meet him in person. Do any of you know who Eric the Electric is? I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm obsessed with him. Um, if you ha got to the end of this video, comment down below, Jack, as in Jack of all trades, master of none. <laughs> Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm, men I'm internally reacting to me saying you guys, because I'm trying not to say you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.